Hello, I'm Tyler Weston, also known as Coach T, and I went to elementary school at Hillcrest Elementary in Big Rapids, Michigan, where I'm from, um, and ended up graduating from Big Rapids High School. I later went on to go to Baker College to study business and marketing, and do have a bachelor's degree in business from uh, Baker College. Business degrees and marketing degrees are really awesome if you have anything that you're interested in selling in the future. So if you like selling, you know, CDs, or that's kind of random, <laughs> maybe not CDs, um, you might be into selling shoes or clothes or um, selling ice cream or food or anything you think about that you'd want to sell, getting a degree in business really prepares you well for it because it helps teach you the ins and outs of businesses and how they work. It helps you really understand what's going to work if you're going to try to bring a product to market. Um, I've been privileged for the last 20 years or so to get to work in real estate in our community and it's been awesome. I've got to know like all the streets and the people and the places and I've got to contribute a lot to our downtown areas and depot town and areas throughout and helping businesses start and helping things come to life and it's been an amazing job and it's been so awesome. But my business degree as well as um, having a minor in marketing really helped prepare me well for the work. Um, as a real estate agent, you do a lot of advertising um, and you also do a lot of just business in general and understanding business, especially when you're working with commercial clients, which means people that are starting their own businesses really helps to have a business background so you can give them good advice, help them find the right place and make sure that the place that you help them find doesn't just disappear in a couple of months. Uh, so that's my privilege to to be able to do for our community is be a real estate agent. Um, over the course of the pandemic, uh, God also led me to create a 24 seven food pantry um, that for a thousand days blessed our neighbors with not only um, food, but also the opportunity to give food. Uh, so it was a beautiful thing and I was really happy to be a part of it and be the steward of it and happy that God led me to the work. Um, I still own the building where the love stand was at in Depot Town and we're going to continue to do community events and things that help uh, all of us connect and get to know each other better and also help to inspire us to brighter destinies for all of us in our whole community. Um, I do have a beautiful wife, Stephanie Weston, um, who is a uh, doctoral nurse. She has a doctoral degree in nursing. She works at St. Joe here in Ipsy and she's the love of my life and my best friend. And I'm also blessed to have my son Christopher, who's five, and my daughter, six, my daughter Bella, who's six. They both go to Wise Elementary School um, right here in Ipsy and are very, very happy going there and doing really well. Um, yeah, so that's a little bit about me. I also love basketball. I love football and soccer. So over the course of the last 13 years, I've coached a lot of those three things around Ipsy and helped lead a lot of initiatives. Um, we just did a three and three tournament with Ozone House and my brother's keeper and the sheriff's department that we've done uh, actually eight times over the course of 10 months. And um, it was really awesome to be a part of it and watch our young people have fun. Um, so that's a little bit about me. I chose a couple of books today that uh, Kalista um, gave me to read through. And one of them reminded me of my son, Chris. Another one reminded me of my daughter, Bella. So. I'm gonna read these couple books for you guys today and hopefully you like them. Uh, today I'm gonna be reading this book, Ball Arena, written by Liz Castle. And this book reminds me of my beautiful daughter who is a ballerina and also wants to be a basketball player. Ball Arena by Liz Castle. Ina loves to dance ballet, tendu, passe, plie, tippy toes and reveille, pirouette, and grand jeté. Ina warms up with her friends, nose to toes, and froggy bangs. Heads held high and legs out long, stretching out and getting strong. They try hard to synchronize, and when in doubt, they improvise. Like a team, they work as one, step by step and bun to bun. And there's more she can do in her sparkly pink tutu. 
dribble, lay up, alley oop, shoot the ball into the hoop, be a forward or a guard in her shorts and leotard. Ina pulls out all the stops, ballet slippers or high tops. Sneakers are laced up in bows, ready when the whistle blows. Hey you, she hears someone scream, are you even on the team? Dancers dance and players play. This is b-ball, not ballet. Confident is her reply, wait until you see me fly. Even though she is not tall, she can jump to get the ball. Pass it with a pirouette and slam it right into the net. Playing defense like a dance, waiting for the perfect chance. A port de bras for the steal. Things are starting to get real. An air ball soars into the stands over all her teammates' hands. Her abaress will save the day and keep the basketball in play. Her team's down seven to nine, and she stands at the three-point line. The hoop seems so far away, but this is the only way. They'll win if she makes the shot. Time to give it all she's got. She takes a breath, makes a wish, and the crowd goes quiet, and the ball goes swish. Game over. Her team has won. Ina high fives everyone. The team cheers. We did it. Wow. Then together, they take a bow. Doesn't matter what you call her, ballerina, basketballer, on the court or at the bar, Ina is a superstar. That was Baller Ina by Liz Castle. Thanks so much for reading with us today. Oh my God,